Hi everyone, it's Agnieszka Murdoch from 5 Minute Language. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. So in today's video, I share with you 20 British words and phrases that you absolutely need to know if you're learning British English. The first one is chuffed and it means overjoyed. It means very, very happy. So if somebody says, I just got promoted, you can say, you must be chuffed. You must be very, very happy. The next one is faff. And you can say, what a faff. And it just means that something is a bit of trouble. Uh, it's something that you can't be bothered to do. So I had to fill out a, a form yesterday and it was such a faff. It was just an annoying thing I had to do. The next one is gutted. Gutted. And it means very upset about something. So for example, you can say, I was gutted because the show I wanted to see was sold out. The next phrase is full of beans. Full of beans means very energetic, full of energy. For example, you're full of beans this morning. The next one is lurgy, lurgy. And it basically means illness. So you can say, he's got the lurgy again which means he's ill, he's got a cold, he's got a bad cold. The next one is shambles, shambles. It basically means chaos, mess. You can say it was absolute shambles, it was chaos. I can't even begin to describe it. The next one is to take the mickey. To take the mickey means that you can't be serious. For example, you go into a coffee shop and they say, five pounds for a coffee. That's quite shocking. You must be taking the mickey. You must be kidding me. The next one is footy. And that's something British people say when they mean football. And I'm not talking about American football, I'm talking about soccer. The next one is knackered. Knackered. It means very tired, and it's a very common phrase in British English. I was knackered because I went to sleep at midnight. Gobsmacked. Gobsmacked basically means short for words. When he told me he's moving to Australia, I was gobsmacked. I could not believe it. The next one is to throw a spanner in the works. To throw a spanner in the works basically means to prevent a plan from succeeding. So for example, the train was cancelled and that really threw a spanner in the works. The next word is skint. And that's again something that British people use a lot. And it means that you have no money. You're broke. I was skint because I spent all my money on computer games. The next one is grotty. Grotty means unwell. So for example, I had to leave early because I felt grotty. The next one is ta, which means thank you. Ta. Ta very much. The next phrase is bog standard. Bog standard basically means something is of poor quality. For example, I went to a bog standard restaurant. It was quite bad. The next word is ace, which basically means amazing, brilliant. That film was really ace. Blimey. Blimey is an exclamation that British people use to express surprise. So for example, if you say, I got fired this morning, I can say, blimey. The next word is bloke, and that basically means a guy or a man. And the next one is do. A do is a party. For example, you can say, I'm going to my friend's hen do, which is a party that you have before you get married. And the final word is rubbish. And rubbish obviously means trash, but it also means very, very bad. So you can say the restaurant I went to was really rubbish. It was really, really bad. And that's it. The 20 words that British people use a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye.